Today, I wanted to talk about my first add-on, which has been added to the uh, official extension library of Blender right here on the site. So I am in the extension of uh, Blender, which are all the add-ons that you can download. Uh, you have my ramp generator. The ramp generator is uh, a little function that uh, simply creates you know, color ramps. And uh, I was working on a couple of projects where I needed some strips, a lot of strips in the color ramp, black and white strips. And I was like, there must be an easier way to do this, but uh, no. So I thought, uh, you know, why not create uh, my own little tab for that? And uh, yeah, so this is it, ramp generator. And since I didn't want to just create this one option to create stripes i thought you know what let's make a complete package and uh, yeah ship that out to blender thanks to the ramp generator you can create random colors random complementary uh, some grayscale and uh, black and white strips and of course i wanted to add a couple more feature to really make this useful so i added a image color sampler. I also put a lot of predefined color palettes that you can choose from. So, all right, let's jump inside of Blender. And to be able to then load this, all you have to do is go to the edit preference inside of the get extension and simply, you know, type ramp and you will see the ramp generator. So as you can see, uh, it has my name. All you have to do is install it. And as you can see, on the side here, on the side panel. So this will be visible if you press N and you will see the ramp generator. So how does this work? So let's create, first of all, a mesh. So I'm gonna create a plane and I'm gonna add a new geometry node. So right now I am in geometry node. You can also uh, have it inside of the shader editor. As you can see, it is here as well. So let me create another texture. And uh, to use it, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is bring a color ramp. And as you can see, if you don't have any ramp selected, it will say that you need to select a color ramp to uh, activate this. So I'm gonna select my color ramp and now you can uh, just generate a ramp and it will uh, generate a render ramp. So right now we are in the complementary and this it will choose pretty much two colors and try to blend that in with uh, a couple other colors in between. You can select the amount of uh, colors of points that you want in your ramp and the max number you can have is 32. And as you can see, at every new generation, you're gonna have uh, new colors and you have a nice little checkbox for the random position. So I'm gonna click on that. And now, as you can see, every point is randomized, which is uh, very nice. And uh, yeah, let's check out the next option. We have random. This will create randomized color. And let me just change this to linear from from linear to constant, so we can uh, see a little bit better the colors. And as you can see at every generation, we're gonna have a new color palette, which is very helpful. And I'm gonna show you some of the use case that I've need this for. So let's check out the grayscale. Here we have randomized grayscale values. We have the stripes. I added a couple of presets that I thought would be useful. For example, sunset, ocean, Candy, desert, the earth one is a, is a nice one. Some retro colors, pastel. The last option is the custom image. So here you can load a custom image. So this is the image that I added as a source. And this is from a project yeah, that you can download, of course, from my site. And as you can see, it's pretty close, right? And of course you can generate again and again so it's gonna take a couple of seconds to generate the image because of how the, the sampler works. So, you know, be sure to not upload a 4K image into it because you, you might wait like a minute or two for the sampler to, you know, analyze the image. But uh, yeah, so I really wanted to have this feature in the ramp generator and it does create some colors that don't belong here. That's just the way that I decided to uh, make it because uh, I try to limit the color duplication 
But since the number of colors is uh, fixed and set, it needs to fill all the gaps. So if uh, it needs one more color, it's going to add a, a random one. You know, it's going to try to uh, blend two different colors between them. So yeah, that's pretty much how this works. And of course, you can do exactly the same thing in the shader editor as you can see ramp generator you select your ramp i'm going to go to the random colors and as you can see here as well it works so yeah that's pretty much it so let's talk about some use case right so i'm going to add a noise texture so let's add a ramp so we can have it in black and white and uh, i'm going to change some of the settings and usually, you know, when you work with color ramp, uh, the first issue that I always have is whenever I go and try to change that, as you can see, my mouse is on the, the point. If I click and drag, I'm going to drag the, uh, the whole node. So yeah, that's an issue that uh, I'm having almost every time. Every time I try to move this, I'm moving the whole node. And that was, uh, you know, a big no-no for me. And uh, yeah, so the way to actually click on the color is not clicking on the box here but right above in the vicinity of the line so as you can see i'm going to click here and this will drag my color which is very not intuitive but i wanted to get rid of that and be able to you know randomize everything so now i'm just going to click on my color ramp and just generate and i'm going to put this in grayscale and as you can see now at with every generate, I'm going to have some different noise output, which is very, very helpful. You can even go to Stripe, add more colors, and fill out those details. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how I've been using this specific Stripes option. Another use case of the RAMP generator is uh, to be able to randomize the color of instances so as you can see here i have a bunch of uh, spheres with a cloth and with my color ramp i can go to the generate ramp set to uh, random and now i can randomize all of my spheres which is very very practical very fast and you know you can go with grayscale tones you can select a preset so that's pretty much what my ramp generator add-on for Blender does. Uh, you know, very easy tool. And uh, yeah, it took about a week to be able to develop this and uh, also get approved to be an official uh, Blender extension. So I'm pretty uh, proud <laughs> about that. If you have a couple of features that you want to request, be sure to leave a comment. Otherwise, uh, be sure to check out my site. So I do provide a lot of free project files that you can download and use as you want. And I'm doing a daily project. So yeah, be sure to follow me also on Instagram. And if you want to learn more, I do have a Patreon where I have a series where I dive inside of each project file that I create and I talk about my inspiration and some of the tips. So yeah, be sure to download the ramp generator for Blender. I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.